The flower fields at Carlsbad Ranch are considered among the most beautiful flower exhibits in the United States. Open from March 1st through May 12th, the vibrant display of giant Tecolote ranunculus flowers attracts visitors from around the world. We visited this year and I wanted to make a video to give you all the information so you can make the most of your time at the flower fields at Carlsbad Ranch. Let's get started and stay till the end when I'll give you some tips on special events and the best time to visit. The flower fields are made up of over 50 acres of ranunculus flowers and at the peak of the season it's estimated about 80 million bulbs are in bloom. About 10% of those flowers go for sale and the rest is set aside for us to enjoy. And in my experience, it's a great place to bring family, friends, or even a date. And we even saw a marriage proposal while we were there. To get tickets, you need to buy them online so you can choose a date and time to visit. And they have different options for single day use or seasonal passes. I'll leave a link to their site in the description below. Taking a look at the map, you'll see there's plenty to do. Everything from different gardens and displays to picnic areas, playgrounds, performance stages, food vendors, a maze, and much more. Let's take a look at some of the exhibits. When you first enter, greeters scan your tickets and they're there to answer any questions you might have. There are displays that teach about the flower fields and their history, and right away you're presented with different options of places to visit. We took a right to check out Don Miller's garden. The garden is designed to replicate medieval gardens that noble people use to relax and contemplate. When you visit, I recommend taking pictures under the arches and saying hello to the birds. These are the ringneck doves. And there's also zebra finches. And this is just the first of many amazing gardens and photo opportunities. Close by is the strawberry shack, which has a variety of ice cream and even Dole Whip. This is also where you'll find the loading area for the wagon ride. The ride takes you on a tour around the perimeter of the 55 acre ranch. And from the wagon ride, you'll be able to see the flower fields from many different perspectives. Next to the wagon ride is the fountain garden, which is a nice circular flower garden surrounding a fountain with cutouts that are perfect for taking photos. Here's the Eki family poinsettia greenhouse. Beginning in 1900, the Eki family led by Paul Eki Sr. played a crucial role in transforming poinsettias into the popular indoor plant that we now associate with the holidays. He developed breeding techniques that made the plants more robust and the family became a major provider of poinsettia stock plants, supplying over 90% of the world's poinsettias. Paul Eki Jr. continued this legacy by marketing poinsettias as symbols of the holidays. Beautiful flowers? Yeah. Wow, so pretty. Now let's head to the center of the park, right next to the pavilion stage. And here we found this cool garden area with mosaics. I helped a couple people take pictures. It's really a great spot to stop and take some photos. Here's the main stage where nearly every day on the weekends, there are a variety of performers who play from 1 till 5 p.m. And here are some sculptures that might inspire a new hairstyle. Just next door is the Butterfly Sculpture Garden, which has a variety of sculptures and benches that celebrate these creatures that help the flowers grow. The Master Gardener's area showcases a demonstration garden with edible and ornamental plants. Here you can learn about garden design, types of plants, planting styles, or just sit and enjoy the environment. And here at the Carlsbad Mining Company, you can search for polished gemstones using the miner's old method of sifting sand in water. Can you cap on that for me? Now just rock it back and forth. And get all that sand out of there. All right, let's see what we got. Wow, look at that. Wow. That is golden tiger's eye, leopard skin jasper, a cornelian, a road knight, snowflake obsidian, blue tiger's eye, red jasper, a pitcher stone, and a sodalite. Good job. All right, can you help me here? Now let's rock it. Yeah, there you go. You were watching, weren't you? Good job. <laughs> what? What is that? What did you find? Got a rose quartz. Yeah, been, That's actually wow. coral. And you'll read about that someday. Take a high five. 
Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. So Thank you. Thank you. So Thank Thank bye. You. Whoa! Look, Julia, I got a pink one too. The kids had a great time, and it was nice to walk away with a souvenir. Right next door is Santa's playground. Nice seeing you. Have fun. The playground is called Santa's Village because the playhouses and gigantic mushrooms were part of Santa's Village in Lake Arrowhead years ago. It's a nice spot to sit somewhere in the shade and relax in between exhibits. Just next door is a picnic area with the pizza trolley and taco trolley, and they have a good variety of food. And nearby is the Mediterranean Garden, which is also an area that guests can reserve for wedding ceremonies and receptions. The Paul Ecke Jr. Family Barn doubles as an event space and a theater. And here you can watch a presentation about the history of the Ecke family, the flower fields, poinsettias, ranunculus, and their relationship with the city of Carlsbad. If you're interested in the flower fields and its history, then that's a good video presentation to watch. And here's the Illusion Garden, which sort of has an Alice in Wonderland kind of theme with oversized props making everybody look smaller than they are. It's a fun place to take pictures. There's even a school program area here presented by the Flower Fields Foundation, and they provide educational programs and grants for schools in low-income areas. There's an area here where you can look for four-leaf clovers, but you only have a one in 10,000 chance of finding one. A fun activity here is the sweet pea maze, which doesn't look too difficult, but somehow we didn't make it through correctly. We ended up exiting the same way we came in somehow. So even for adults, it does require a little bit of concentration. And the greenhouse next door grows Cymbidium orchids. And this now leads us to the main attraction, the Ranunculus flower fields. We visited early in March, around March 10th which means at the time we stopped by, about 25% of the flowers were in bloom. This was still plenty for us to see and enjoy and take some great pictures. By the time you see this video, there will be many more flowers in bloom, and by mid-April, the entire 55-acre flower fields, or approximately 80 million bulbs, will be in full bloom. There will genuinely be flowers in bloom for as far as the eye can see, and I really look forward to coming back and seeing that. But the bloom is happening early this year, so now is a great time to visit. In terms of lighting for photography, it's always great to take pictures earlier in the day or later towards sunset. But if you're here during the middle of the day, one thing you can do is wear a hat or find some shade, which will help reduce hard lighting on the face. And as promised, there are lots of different events and activities here. Everything from yoga to kids events, concerts, picnics, flower workshops, meditation, art and photography workshops, and much more. And it's more than I can cover here, so I'll leave a link in the description to their event calendar so you can plan your trip according to your interests. Look at that, we have a junior photographer. That's a good picture. Good job, Julia. Good job. <laughs> if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. And for more videos about Southern California and beyond, please consider subscribing. It really helps the channel. And for more information about what you can do while you're in the area, click right here.